Hi, Sonda Cafe is my name, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to upgrade or downgrade PHP version in WordPress. Now, even though this tutorial is for WordPress, the same concept applies to Joomla, Drupal, Magento, and any other web software. Ready? Let's get started. All right, I'm logged into my WordPress site, and as you can see, uh, it's giving a warning uh, message here. It's saying PHP update required so you could see this if your php uh, version uh, is outdated so i have uh, two tabs open i'll be showing us how to do this using two websites as a case study so you can see this that this is already giving uh, a php hub death warning now in some cases your site may not show this warning but your php version may also uh, be outdated now to check what version of php your site is running on you can simply go to uh, your website installation go to tools and then go to site health and then you'll be able to check click on the info here and scroll down a bit click on server here and then you'll be able to see your php version you can see uh my main website is on uh, php 7.3 Meanwhile, why this other website is using an outdated version of PHP. Now, if you're wondering why you should upgrade to a newer version of PHP, the number one reason is because it makes your website more secured, and two, it makes your website to run faster. Okay, so you can see here, yeah, that this one is running PHP 5.6, which is an outdated version of PHP. So quickly, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade or downgrade your PHP uh, version. So, so you have to be logged into your website cPanel. So uh, I'm already logging to my cPanel here. So what uh, you want to do is to search for PHP you don't have to scroll down to find it and then you're going to see the the multi uh multi php manager here so you are going to select that you just click on the multi php manager and give it some few seconds to load once it loads scroll down and locate uh the domain you want to update uh the php version locate the site so if you have a subdomain here or if you have other hard on domain here they are going to show up so just select so this is the site i want to update the php version for so i'm just going to tick it here now if you want to select multiple sites if you have other site there and you want to update the php version for all of them at once just check this box here and it's going to select everything you have but i want to update for just this the main size i'm just going to select this and then after I se after selecting this the next thing you want to do is to go up here to where it says php version click this drop down and then it's going to show you the available version of PHP you can update to. So I'm going to select uh, WordPress recommend 7.3. So you can do 7.3, 7.2, depending. For this tutorial, I'm just going to do uh, 7.0 and then we're just going to click on apply and then give it some few seconds to load. You say it says success uh, and then it's giving me a message here saying that php version 7.0 has been applied to my site so i'm just going to go back to the site and i'm going to quickly refresh it so you see that the php version has been updated okay it's up you can see we no longer have the warning message that says php update required you've seen that one message is up now if we want to bring it back we can just go and then we can downgrade to a lower version of PHP. Let's say let's say 5.3 and then we apply. Seeing success that has been applied. If you go back and then we refresh our dashboard, let's give it some few seconds to load. Uh, since you just updated your PHP version, you may start seeing. Okay, 
uh we need to be on at least 5.6 so uh we're going to go and change it to 5.6 and then we're going to select the domain okay so the error message is saying what pro requires at least 5.6 we had gone very low we're at at 5.3 so we're going to update to 5.6 and then we're going to refresh and then our site should load up okay you've seen our site is back up and then you can see that we now have uh that php you know the required warning showing up again all right so i'm going to quickly show you again using this other side uh, my official website on the cafe you can see that this is php 7.3.15 i'm just going to downgrade to a lower version of php and then i'm going to come back here and then you're going to see so this i'm going to just in case if you don't know how to log into your website cpanel i'm just going to show you how to you just visit your website the website.com.net or whatever extension it is forward slash cpanel just visit that url give it some few seconds to load and then log in to your cpanel with your username and your password and then it's going to take you straight into your cpanel now you can see that this interface this cpanel uh, interface is different from this that's because this is using an older team of cpanel but all the features are still the same thing all the features everything here is also in here the difference is that this is just using a new this just has a newer look which looks uh, much better so whether you see this or you see this the process is still the same thing you either will have to scroll down and find uh the more uh multi or multi php uh manager or you just search for it so you can just search for php here and then it give you all the option that has php you just click on the um, multi php manager and select your website uh, the website you want to update or downgrade the php version come up here and select the version of php you want since i'm currently on 7.3 you can see i'm currently on 7.3 but i'm just going to downgrade to 7.0 once you select click apply then give it some few seconds to load So it could take it could take a few seconds to apply the changes. All right, success. Yeah, you've seen that the, the PHP version has now been applied. If we go back and then we refresh this page, you can see we are currently on seven point three. If we refresh this, it will take a few seconds, and then we check several again. You see that we are now on seven point zero. So that's it. That's how to upgrade or downgrade php version in wordpress and remember even though this video was recorded for wordpress the same method applies to joomla to drupal or whatever web software uh, you have installed thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever i upload uh, useful videos like this thank you for watching